a block A of mass capital M is placed on horizontal table. Another block B of mass small m is placed on block A as shown in figure. Now a force is applied on B. Now we are explaining some conditions here. First one we are taking that there is no frictional force between A and B and A and table. And we want to calculate the time taken by block B to move through the length L. That means move through the upper surface of block A. Now here, as no frictional force is acting between all the surfaces, then only external force F is applied on B. Therefore, the acceleration of block B, that is, That is AB, this is external force by mass. If we consider the free body here, only a force applied on block B, then this is mass into acceleration. As there is no frictional force and no external force acting on block A, then block A remain at rest therefore the length travel by block b on block a that is l so we can say that if t is the time taken by block b to travel the length l then we can use the formula s is equal to ut plus half a t square here is the distance traveled by block b over the block a that is l initial speed is zero plus half acceleration of block b that is f by m into t square therefore t is equal to root over of 2 m l by f in second case there is a friction between a and b the coefficient of friction is mu the table on which the block a is placed is a frictionless surface this surface is frictionless
and we are taking another condition that block b is not sliding over a if we consider the free body diagram for block b we get that f is the applied force on b mg is the weight acting r is the reaction force applied by block a on block b and there is a frictional force in between block a and b this frictional force this is f here f this is equal to mu into r this is mu mg as block b is not sliding over block a then frictional force greater than the applied force so here external force f is less than mu mg now if we consider the free body diagram for block a there is a reaction force applied by block b on block a according to newton's third law whenever frictional force is applied on b by a that is f then same force is also applied by b on a on this surface and the frictional force acting on a is towards right this is f there is no frictional force between block a and table so only the force acting here on block a that is frictional force that is a physical to mu mg as block b is not sliding over block a and if we consider uh, a and b as a total system then the frictional force behaves as an internal force only suppose this is block a this is block b force f is acting that is external force and in this direction this is frictional force acting on b by a and similarly in this direction that is towards right the frictional force acting on a by b these frictional forces are considered as the internal forces and here no friction between block a and the surface therefore the total external force or net external force acting on the system that is f and this force moves the body that means move, uh, moves body a then block a and block b together so f is equal to m plus m into acceleration therefore a is equal to f by m plus m so this acceleration is same for block a and block b so acceleration of a is equal to acceleration of b this is f by m plus m therefore this is the condition whenever the force applied only block b and the block b remain stationary on block a and there is no frictional force between a and the table then both the blocks moves with same acceleration that is m by m plus m in third condition the frictional force acting in between a and b only and the coefficient of friction between the surface is mu 
and block B. is sliding over block A. If you consider the free body diagram for block B, then F is the external force, Mg is the force acting on block B by earth or gravity. Next, R is the reaction force acting on B by A and frictional force this is F. Here F this is mu into R this is mu mg. As block B slides over block A then the net force acting on block B is F minus F, this is M into acceleration of B. Therefore, acceleration of B, this is F minus mu mg by M. This is equation 1. If we consider the free body diagram for block A, The frictional force acting on A by B is towards right, this is F, and there is no friction between block A and table. Therefore, the net force acting on block A This is frictional force is equal to m mass of block A and acceleration of A. Therefore, mu mg is equal to m acceleration of A. Therefore, acceleration of A this is mu mg by m. Well, this is equation 2. Now these two blocks are moving towards the right with different acceleration. Now, if you want to calculate the time required to move the distance L over A by block B, then we have to consider the relative acceleration of block B with respect to block A. Because two blocks A and B are moving in same direction. Therefore, we have to consider the motion of B with respect to block A. Now, if the time is T, the time to move distance L over block A by block B is T, then L is equal to half ABA T square, where ABA, this is the acceleration of B with respect to A. Now vectorically ABA is equal to acceleration of B minus acceleration of A. So this is F minus mu mg by M minus mu mg by M. Then we can write that L is equal to half F minus mu mg by M minus mu mg by capital M into T square 
or t square is equal to 2 l m n by f m minus mu m m g minus mu m square g therefore p this is root of r of 2 m m into l by f into m minus mu m g in bracket m plus m therefore whenever two blocks are moving with different acceleration and if you want to calculate the distance traveled by block b over block a then we have to consider the relative displacement that is l and relative acceleration that means acceleration of b on acceleration of a now friction is acting in between a and b and also in between a and a b the coefficient of friction between a and b this is mu similarly the coefficient of friction between a and table this is mu prime now first condition we are discussing that b ribbon rest on a Now at first we are calculating the frictional force acting on A and B here. If you consider the free body diagram here for block B, this is the applied force F in opposite direction. Frictional force is acting, this is F. Frictional force, this is mu m g. If you consider the free body diagram, for block A, the frictional force acting here, this is F. There is another friction between the block and the table. If block B tends to move block A towards right, then the frictional force between block A and the table, this is towards left, and this force is a prime here m g is the weight acting here there is a reaction force between a and b and another reaction force between a and the table that is n in previous diagram block b mg is downward and reaction force r is upward so r is equal to mg for block a R plus mg is equal to n because if you consider the force acting on A only, then the reaction force applied by B on A in this direction and reaction force applied by table on A in this direction. Therefore, R plus mg is equal to n. Therefore, n is equal to m plus m into g. So, the frictional force f prime, this is mu into n, sorry, mu prime into n. So, mu prime into m plus m, 
अंग्रेजी when b is at rest on a at that condition the frictional force then frictional force acting in between a and b this is a this greater than applied force f now if we consider another condition that is b and a are moving with different acceleration then the frictional force for block b this is less than the applied force similarly for block a frictional force is greater than the frictional force between a and b that is a prime if we consider the accelerations here that is acceleration of b this is f minus a this is the net force by mass of block b this is f minus mu mg by m similarly acceleration of a this is f minus a prime by capital a so mu mg minus mu prime m plus m into g by capital m from the diagram we can say that these accelerations are in same direction that is towards right the acceleration here this is towards right then if we consider the relative acceleration that means acceleration of block b over block a that is acceleration of b or a that is acceleration of b with respect to a this is acceleration of b minus acceleration of a so this is equal to f minus mu mg by m we are putting the values here mu mg minus mu prime m plus m into g by m now if we want to calculate the time required to move block b over block a on block a this is l is equal to half a b a b square therefore t is equal to 2 l by a b a under 